Banks, this is Waz for Waz Words Media, back at y'all for another round. And tonight, we were supposed to get a big night of boxing. It's still going to be a good night of boxing, but it was supposed to be much bigger because we were going to get two separate cards. And in these two cards, the two guys that are headlining the main event, they could have potentially meet each other at the end of the year, being that they're fighting on the same night and their names been paired up for a while. So we're talking about none other than on Showtime, you're going to get Jerron Boots and is straight out of Philly, who is going, is going to take on Roman Villa. And if Roman Villa sounds familiar, he's the guy that pulled an upset earlier this year against Speedy Rashidi Ellis. You know, some people felt that Ellis did enough to win. He was piling up the early rounds. However, Villa has one of those never say quit styles, keeps coming forward, keeps throwing punches, and he eventually knocked down Speedy Ellis, and that weighed enough in the judges' minds to give him the victory. So he became a player. Now he's a name now in this um, division. So he will be taking on upcoming welterweight um, Jerome Boutenis. And then the other fight we were supposed to get tonight was supposed to be Virgil Ortiz making his return to the ring against uh, Stan Ionis. That fight was going to be really good too. Like that was going to be a really good fight. And this fight gets canceled for the third time the third time i mean first and foremost let's keep virgil ortiz in our most positive thoughts nothing but warm currents your way young warrior you know from what i hear with the reports that i've read it was a very serious condition virgil ortiz ended up passing out he needed mouth to mouth he needed to be revived like he he was in a bad place in a very bad way so first and foremost uh, a speedy recovery and second of all man it might be time for Virgil to move up I don't know if this is weight related it seems like it like to, for him to just pass out kind of sounds like he's he's uh draining himself to make that 47 so it might be time he, had, he might have to consider joining that high bet of, of 54 that that got a bunch of big names but in any event he's still at 147 for the third time the standing on this fight which is a fight that many boxing fans have been looking forward to it gets canceled yet again so, um, yeah, we got to wait and see what happens with Virgil Ortiz. This might just be the wake-up call to move up to another weight class. Um, but, yeah, it was supposed to be big because pending if the two favorites won tonight, which would have been Ennis and Ortiz, those two favorites could have been locked up for a big fight later on this year. But, unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to get that. So, tonight, we have the Showtime card. And, you know, Showtime always puts good cards together. And we're going we're gonna to see. We'll, we'll see if the Never, Never Say Die, always full steam ahead, throwing punches style of Roman Villa is enough to overwhelm. Jerome Boutsenis, or we're going to see more of that flashy Philly fighter continue to make his way up and climb yet another rung in the welterweight division until he gets his chance to go for one of those straps. So, fight fans, let's tune in. Action goes down tonight on Showtime at 9.30 and I'll hit y'all up with another uh, video on the post stop. A uh, post stop. <laughs> I'm on. I'm. I'm in work mode. Post stop. Headed to work. Operating room. I meant on the post fight. 
hit y'all with another video. So, I'm Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.